dig up a past, I swore. And stay buried. You will always be a monster. Ares! I have nothing more to hide. The ghost of Sparta had been born. Hey there gamers and mythology enthusiasts, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving deep into the age-old mystery, pun intended, surrounding our favorite Spartan rage machine turned god, Kratos. You've probably noticed that even though he's immortal, he's not exactly immune to the passage of time. So let's unleash our curiosity and unravel the enigma together. Picture this, Kratos the mighty god of war, swinging his blades of chaos like a whirlwind of destruction, yet sporting a few more wrinkles each time we see him. Wait, what's up with that? If he's immortal, shouldn't he stay eternally youthful? Well, hold on to your helmets because this paradox is about to get a mind-bending explanation. You see, the belief that gods get stronger as they age and don't die of old age derives from the fact that gods passively become stronger over time, even without training. Think about it like gods getting immortal upgrades. You know, like when you level up in a game. Turns out, gods in mythology level up too, but not exactly in the way you might think. Take Kratos' brother, for example, Deimos. Despite Thanatos' extended prison vacation plan he had in place for Kratos' brother, Deimos still managed to throw down with Kratos. He was a child when he was imprisoned, and yet he was still strong enough to last in a fight with Kratos when he was released, who at the time was the current god of war. How? Because gods, it seems, passively beef up over time, even without hitting the gym. Another example was when Kronos' offspring were freed from the constraints of his belly. Despite being trapped inside Kronos since birth, when they were released as adults, they were strong enough to fight in the Great Titan War. So you might wonder, why does Kratos age? I need you guys to understand two things. The first thing that you guys need to understand is that the immortality of the Greek gods is much different from the immortality of the Norse gods. And the second thing is that Kratos' immortality is even more different than the gods of both pantheons. To understand why Kratos seems to be getting older, we need to divulge the origin of his immortality. But before I do so, let me explain to you the difference between Greek immortality and the Norse immortality. The Greek gods, titans, or any other immortal being from that pantheon retained their immortality by consuming two things, ambrosia and nectar, which were considered the food and drinks of the gods. Ambrosia and nectar, the divine munchies, were like protein shakes for Zeus, Poseidon, Hades, etc., granting them immortality and strength. But here's the twist, ambrosia and nectar don't stop aging, they just slow it down. It's like anti-aging skincare for Greek deities. Those who consumed ambrosia and nectar gave the consumer an ethereal life force, the gift of immortality and blood made out of ichor, but it did not mean you couldn't age. The Greek gods were born with ichor already running through their veins, which is why when they were imprisoned in Kronos' belly, they did not die immediately as Kronos might have thought. The Norse gods, however, took a different path. They placed their bets on Eden's enchanted apples, the ultimate superfood for Norse gods that delayed their aging process, much like Nectar and Ambrosia did for the Greeks. And guess what? These apples are like the VIP guests at a cosmic buffet, the same ones Kratos munches on in God of War 2018 and Ragnarok to level up his health bar. Hold on a second though, in the game, these juicy marvels don't exactly bestow immortality upon our Spartan powerhouse, who is already immortal by other means by the way, don't worry, I'll get to that. But, and here's a twist, maybe there's a sprinkle of leftover ichor swirling in Kratos' veins. Kratos' unique concoction of ichor and the magical mix in Eden's apples fuse together like a mythological smoothie. Instead of a second helping of immortality, it's like Kratos gulped down a turbocharged health potion. A bit of extra oomph for the battles ahead. Now I know you've got a burning question. Why is it then that the blood of the Greek gods are not golden from ichor in the old God of War games? Ah, you've got a good memory. I've touched on this before, but hey, let's break it down again. The secret sauce for immortality. It's not just nectar or chomping on divine apples, it's all about the fan club, the believers, the worshippers. A god with no worshippers, well, they might as well be facing a divine extinction. It's like being a rock star without any fans. 
you're not a rock star. So what if, hear me out, what if the Greek gods became so popular, so adored, that they didn't need ambrosia and nectar anymore. Their followers' devotion, the prayers, the sacrifices, it's like the ultimate power-up. They leveled up from divine snacks to a cosmic buffet of devotion. So that's why the god's blood could have transitioned back to its original hue, red. The Greek gods weren't just chilling in the clouds, they were riding the waves of their worshippers' love, keeping their immortality in check with a little help from their devoted friends. That's why gods loved temples and statues and sacrifices made in their names and hated when other gods got more attention than them. Just how Ares didn't like the attention Athena was receiving in God of War 1. So why is Kratos aging? Because his immortality is a complex cocktail of curses, followers, and curses again. He's like a timeless action hero in a multi-dimensional movie, battling not just foes, but also the ebb and flow of time itself. Why does Kratos age? Is it a lack of ambrosia and nectar, or perhaps Eden's apples? Could it be that Kratos isn't a full-fledged god? Not quite. Even if Kratos binged on nectar, feasted on ambrosia, and devoured every last apple in Eden's orchard, the sands of time would still cast their spell on him, much like they did on all the other gods. You see, nectar, ambrosia, and Eden's apples aren't magical breaks that stop aging, they're more like a golden ticket to immortality. The fine print? Aging might knock on the door, but it won't be allowed to wreak havoc. So don't get it twisted, Kratos will age, but he won't suddenly start walking with a cane, his biceps won't deflate like punctured balloons, and his reflexes won't resemble a turtle's. Age won't cramp up his style or his battlefield prowess. But hold on, let's shift our focus to the grander canvas. Kratos' immortality paints a unique masterpiece. His is a breed apart, a one-of-a-kind composition. While other gods played Russian roulette with the odds of demise, Kratos will cruise through life with a golden ticket that screams admission for eternity. Now I can almost hear the skeptics. Hey, didn't Thor take him down in the latest game? Well, give me a chance to clear the air. Kratos' earlier immortality might have had a recipe with three key ingredients. Ambrosia and nectar he chugged during his Olympus stay, a dash of power from devoted followers during his godly reign, and a pinch of divine curse. And in my mythological cookbook, option three takes the cake. Why you ask? Kratos' immortality isn't your run-of-the-mill ordinary variety. He's like an eternal cat with nine lives, except he doesn't have nine lives but infinite ones. He can kick the bucket, but it's more like a temporary nap. Kratos' curse? It's like his own personal respawn system. So sure he's invincible in the grand scheme of things, eternal strolls on earth are in his future, but in the midst of his journey, Kratos dabbles in the risk of mortality. He can dodge death, but... He can't dodge every arrow, sword, or the occasional wrinkle. And that, my friends, is where the magic lies. It's why Kratos isn't just a character we root for, but one we connect with. He's not a mere black and white hero. He's an intricate mosaic of strength, vulnerability, and everlasting spirit. So then, how old is Kratos, you ask? Strap in, because that's a roller coaster of its own. Let's do some mythological math here. From his Spartan days to his godly rise, Kratos has been around the block, jumping through time like a chaotic bungee jumper. He's accumulated years like a hoarder collecting relics. Now here's a riddle wrapped in ages past. Kratos' birth date is an enigma we've never been handed in the original games. As we journey through the climax of God of War 3 to the dawn of God of War 2018, one thing's clear. Kratos has aged significantly. The chilling winds of the Nordic continent have carved lines on his face for at least 11 years, roughly the age of his son, Atreus, in God of War 2018. Stepping into Tyr's temple slash travel room with Freya, we're greeted with a time capsule clue. She explains that the temple has been asleep for a whopping 150 winters. Now whether the temple's slumber was interrupted by a mischievous serpent, Odin's clinks and chains, or other cosmic events, we can't say for sure. Fast forward and Kratos and Atreus venture into Tyr's treasure room. Amidst its artifacts from realms far and wide, they stumble upon a Greek vase. And guess whose portrait graces it? You got it, Kratos himself. The math spells it out. If the temple's been asleep for 150 years, our bearded hero has been alive for just as long, if not more. That's a 150-year-old Spartan spirit right there. 
Hold on to your horn helmets for some mythological deduction. Fimble Winter, the icy curtain call of God of War 2018, takes inspiration from real world history that kicked off in 535 AD. Slide this into Barlog's ballpark comment and it's like fitting pieces of a puzzle together. By the hammer of Thor, God of War 4 might have happened around 534-535 AD. Flip the hourglass to the conclusion of God of War 3, remember Sparta's monumental quake in 464 BC? That's a whopping 999 years between these two games. And hey, let's zoom in on Kratos' timeline. When Sparta sang the happy marriage song at age 20, young Spartans couldn't bring the missus home until they ditched the military at 30. Enter Kratos, pledging allegiance to Ares at 27, when the ink on his deal with the god of war was still fresh. He was married and had a daughter. While we don't know how long he served Ares, his daughter shows no sign of aging. When he is 28, he most likely murders his family. This makes Kratos 38, when he ascends to godly heights after a decade of servitude to the gods. Q. Daedalus, the labyrinth builder extraordinaire. It took him a dozen years to construct his mind-boggling maze after Zeus tapped him on the creative shoulder. Now imagine Kratos' stint as the divine brawler, a solid 12-year run as the god of war, leveling his age to around 50. So when we dust off the age-old calculator and take into account that God of War Ragnarok occurs three years after God of War 2018, the numbers hint at Kratos being in the ballpark of 150 to 154 years old. It's not just old, it's centuries old badassery. And there you have it folks, the age old question about Kratos' age, immortality, and how he's basically the godly version of fine wine. So the next time you see Kratos wielding his blades while rocking a beard, just remember he's not just a badass. He's a riddle wrapped in an enigma, wrapped in armor. So raise your meat horns to the one and only Kratos, who's not just seasoned with age, but marinated in the mysteries of time itself. Cheers to you, Kratos, the champion of complexity, the maestro of mystery. And to you, dear viewers, keep the questions coming, because in the realm of God of War, it's never just a straightforward tale. It's an epic saga of endless twists and turns. Thank you for joining us on this mind-bending adventure. Smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, Stay curious, stay in the game, and stay true to your complexity.